LeBron James. Oh. Or Jordan. Okay, anyway, back to the movie. So anyway, uh, like, these guys are, like, clearly, like, 20 years older and, like... In their 20s and the guys look like they just graduated high school. Or junior high. Yeah, but two of them were getting contracts, so they have to be out of high school. Okay. It was, like, their last chance. Like, the coach Maybe said, they were, like, in their senior year or junior year. The coach said year? that this was their last chance... And most of them would be either pumping gas or working in a factory or something. Yeah. They play so bad that or, no, they never get scouts. They're only doing... No, they said that they were only doing it because it beats, you know, those other things. Yeah. That's what this movie says. That's not what we're saying. Uh, so anyway, then the, then the Jack, he decides to play... And similar to similar to the plot of Gus, which this movie kept reminding me of Gus. I was like, man, I really want to see Gus again. Okay. This plot of my glasses. Um, that's when he he starts playing, and everyone's like, "What the heck? It'll at the very least it'll increase ticket sales." And uh, two other things that we need to mention, or three other things. One, we need to mention the piano player. The organ player. Who keeps getting hit over and over again. Finally wears a mouth, mouth guard, guard and, and like a an... hockey hat. Oh, no, like a she eye shield thing. Yeah, the hockey hat. Oh, okay. And we have to mention the other thing, the fan. Oh, the, the older guy. <laughs> the old the... guy who looks, looks like... Horn. Uh... You know what he kind of looked like? He kind of looked like Bob from Mexico. Oh. Do you know who I'm talking about? Yes. He kind of... But he... You, you also have to talk about the other plot. Where Jack was at the university, the oh. board of directors and sponsors oh, the, the were very plot. upset. Very upset that he was trying... To sell Jack to another university, so they wanted Jack back. Who on was farm. it? It was the. Uh, it was an Indiana University. No, they were gonna test something. Hepatitis. Yeah, hepatitis. So he was gonna be essentially a research monkey or something. So then that's where the custodian. Yeah. Who. Packed him in a bag. Okay. A duffel bag. I've. Yeah, I have two kind of. Two kind of complaints about this movie. The first part is that the kid actors were more adult than the adult actors. I don't know if they were told to like play it up or camp it up because it was a kid's movie or... I have no idea. <laughs> or maybe maybe that guy is just some stand-up comic who, and this is like a vehicle for him or something. I don't know. It's going to be like, hey, this is going to be my earnest. Mm. Or, yeah. He didn't have all his chocolate chips in the one cookie. He might have had a few too many chocolate chips, maybe. Maybe. But yeah, he he was very cartoon. He... He played it up. I'll I'll give him. I'll say he he uh. Maybe he's just a new. Maybe he's just like a new actor. Maybe that's it. Or maybe he just wasn't given good direction. I don't know. I'm not gonna look up the the. I'm not gonna look up the backstory and lore of most valuable primate. Um. Okay. And the other complaint I had. Is that I'm not gonna say it's a B plot because it because it's so easily forgotten, but like a D plot or an F plot is the bad guys. It amounts to nothing. The guys at the university. Yeah, you could have. Well, they finally caught up with them. They finally you saw could him have... on the commercial on the TV. Yeah. But you could have eased, you could have taken their entire subplot out, and it wouldn't have changed anything. No. 
Yeah. You kind of needed it because they were taking Jack home. Remember? Yeah. The back of his picture of his mm -hmm. mom and him. But yeah, I was I was kind of hoping that it was going to lead to some goofiness with them. It, I, I was kind of hoping it would be like a Home Alone type thing. Mm. With the kid and the monkey versus the two bad versus the two bad guys. Well, I like the mom that had the party, the women's meeting at her house. Yeah, what was that about? It was, it was about like, dogs. Well, it was about the issues in the town. The women get together to discuss the issues, and people were leaving dog. What she call it? Happenings or whatever. And the mom was like ready to crack up. Is this what Canadian women talk about when they're together? It was a city meeting. I've never been invited to one, so okay, I'll take your word for it. Okay, they discuss issues of the homemakers or the homeowners. Um, I would say probably in terms when compared to Spy Mate that we saw. I would say Spymate was much better. Uh, this is, and it says family. I would say it's maybe PG because. Well, the championship game, don't pass that up. The championship game. Well, I didn't want to spoil it. Oh. But even then, like, if you don't see that twist coming, you haven't been paying attention. They were a Cinderella team. Mm -hmm. I will give the movie credit in that, apart from one scene, they avoided, they avoided fart jokes, they avoided poop jokes, they avoided, uh, butt jokes. Um, it is kind of a kid's, well, uh, I would say it's PG. It's a PG movie because it does have... Should I say the word? It it does say we suck. I don't know if that's okay. I don't know if that's G-rated in Canada or something. I don't know. I've been there a few times, but not enough to know their film culture. So, uh... That's all I'm gonna say. I liked it better than Rollerball. I'll give it that. Mm -hmm. It at least had a plot and well-shot action, unlike Rollerball. True. Is there anything else you want to say? Mm -mm. Uh, 